Hey there, this year unfolded with a mix of flavors and heartfelt moments. Cooking became a cherished adventure as I tried my hand at various dishes, putting extra care into every homemade meal. Gyoza, Shanghai roll, and healthy soups quickly became favorites, adding a special touch to our family meals. The return of my eldest sister after more than 15 years, I think, brought a bittersweet note to the year. Meeting my grown-up nephews from New Jersey filled our time with fun moments and had heartfelt talks about their lifestyle. This year as well, celebrations held a unique importance. We marked my second sister's birthday at home, a first for our family, and enjoyed a simple Mother's Day celebration. As COVID-19 restrictions eased, dining out with my family felt more comfortable and treated my dad for his birthday in advance. In a bid for a healthier lifestyle, I made a change in my exercise routine, opting for simpler 10K workout steps from YouTube. It was a shift from the heat workouts that used to stress my mind and made my lifestyle fluctuate. The lives of my best friend as well added more color to this year. One celebrated her long-awaited wedding, a moment she had been hoping for. And another friend embarked on a new and exciting journey, aligning with our shared wish for her to focus herself and her future family. However, the most significant highlight of the year was the victories shared with my partner. We entered a new chapter with our engagement and by the end of the year, we received the best news we been waiting and praying for. Furthermore, I also wanted to celebrate my small win for being here. That I am still breathing and having the chance to celebrate these wins with my partner and to my loved ones. Last year, I was trying so hard to go against the grain, hence the emotional breakdown is non-stop even to this year. But the difference from this year is that I accepted my fate that I am still at the state of healing. So I took advantage of my partner's offer to book a few sessions with a therapist to avail a one-hour session. So a huge shout out to my partner's company for offering such a helpful benefit for their families or loved ones. The sessions indeed helped me to unpack numerous possibilities and prompted a profound reassessment of my mental processes. And this journey enables me to navigate through the depths of loneliness, confront grief, and address the myriad challenges that once posed a threat to my well-being. So, um, true healing unfolds as you witness a bit of progress only to find yourself in a momentary setback the next week. It is a journey where you feel a twinge of guilt for laughing having just begun to appreciate the beauty around you. Healing is the acknowledgement and apology to your own body after a storm of emotions wreaks havoc in your mind. It's about being consciously aware and making an effort even if it is just a bare minimum just to keep your soul alive and thriving. I mean, I get it, healing takes time, because healing is not linear. So I've been apologizing to myself for what went down last year, but now I am holding on to this new chapter like my lifeline. It is scary, full of anxiety, but there is this excitement about what's coming next very curious to see what this new season is in store for me and my partner. So let's see where this diversion takes us, right?